वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड टुडे आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक बेस्ड ऑन इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स एंड पोटेंशियल और वन कैन से वोल्टेज सो हियर आई हैव सीन स्टूडेंट्स आर हैविंग अ लॉट्स ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन इन बिटवीन अ डिफरेंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स एंड पोटेंशियल सो आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू दिस by one analogy first and after viewing this video i'm damn sure that you will be able to understand what is exactly electromotive force and what is potential so let me give you one analogy now see here what i'll consider is i'll consider two bottles so you can see here two bottles are there these two bottles are having difference in water level you can observe these two bottles are filled with different water level now if i provide connectivity in between these two what bottles then what will happen higher water level bottle will transfer water to lower water level bottle right so here one can consider that this level of water water that is a potential difference and here there is a flow of water from higher water level to lower water level that is happening because of water level difference and that flow of water that you can consider as flow of charge so here what will happen is after some time you will be observing once water level of both of this bottle is having same water level after that there will be no flow of water in between these two bottle that will happen right so you can say that once both are having same potential after that there will be no flow of charges so that is what one thing that you can consider but here what you need to have as if you wanted to have flow of water continuously so for that you will have to make one arrangement so here by third figure you see i am showing you the arrangement in which i am taking water from lower water level bottle and i am feeding that water to higher water level bottle by using one motor so if i use motor by which i am providing flow of water from lower to higher it will maintain water level difference in between these two bottle so here my dear students what i mean to say is water level difference that is a potential difference but to maintain that potential difference you will have to have electromotive force so here by using external arrangement all i am doing is i am providing water level difference in between these two bottle so electromotive force that is maintaining potential difference i know still it is not clear to you what is the exact difference in between potential and electromotive force so that i'll explain you by electrical circuit but before that let me mention one statement that is very essential to understand what is the basic difference which is there in between electromotive force and potential so you can see the statement which i have written see potential difference that will create flow of charge but to maintain that potential difference we need to have electromotive force now the exact difference in between electromotive force and potential difference that will get clear to you once i explain one example of battery which is connected with load and that battery is connect is not connected with any load so let me take two cases and i'll show you how it makes sense that what is emf and what is potential so let me have two cases one is battery connected with load and second is battery is not connected with load so for that what i'll do is i'll be going to consider one battery you can see here i'm having one battery 
and that is having polarity plus minus like this and this battery is having emf e and it is having internal resistance r i and here this battery is not connected with any load and here i'll be going to consider same case in which i'll be connecting this battery with load so here i'm connecting load resistance rl with this battery so here ri is internal resistance of this battery that's why i have connected internal resistance with emf in series with battery so in total this emf and ri that is a resultant circuit of battery that one should know now here parameter by parameter i'll compare both of this circuit so when we talk about emf with this circuit then emf with this circuit that is e only as well as emf of this circuit with load connection you will be observing that is e only so emf that is same in both of this circuit there is no difference in between emf for both of this circuit now let me calculate what is r equivalent in between this two terminal so when you want to calculate r equivalent then you will be observing that r equivalent will be r i only over here while as if you want to calculate r equivalent over here then that will be a resultant of r i and r l so this will be r i plus r l that will be resultant equivalent resistance because of load as well as internal resistance now let me explain you what is potential difference which is there in between this two terminal so you will be observing potential difference over here that is e only right as there is no connection which is there in between this two terminal but when you want to calculate potential difference over here then potential difference is different over here and this potential difference that is what we can calculate by using voltage divider rule so potential difference in between this two terminal that will be emf e into rl divided by rl plus internal resistance so when you connect load with battery potential difference is not emf it is load resistance divided by load resistance plus internal resistance of this battery right now you will be observing that if this battery is open then current flow will be zero over here but when you connect this battery with load at that time current i that will be emf divided by ri plus rl so now you see emf right that is same for battery even if you connect that with load or not but when you calculate potential difference then without load potential difference is e but with load potential difference is changing right now here what is the basic thing that we need to understand out of this two circuit let me discuss that so when you connect battery with load at that time that potential difference is not exactly equals to emf why the reason is there is internal resistance so if you design battery which is having zero internal resistance then you will be observing that emf of battery that is equals to potential difference of that two terminal which is there with battery right so if you take r i is equals to 0 you see if r i is 0 then r l r l will get cancel and potential difference will be equals to e right so the basic thing which is appearing over here is internal resistance which we usually neglect when we solve electrical network right so this is the basic difference which you will be observing in terms of emf and potential difference for any battery right so this is the basic thing which you need to focus about when we talk about potential difference and emf 
so this is very essential thing that you should note down for any battery if internal resistance is zero in that case emf of that battery and potential difference between two terminal will be same but practically that is not possible as we know that there is always small internal resistance that will be always there with any battery right so there will be always difference in between emf and potential difference of battery i hope now you have got the clear cut idea about what is the exact difference which is there in between emf and potential difference now i would like to give you one basic definition of potential or voltage the reason is this definition is useful for solving problem in future when we solve problem based on same right so what is potential see potential is amount of work required to be done to bring one unit charge from infinity to reference point so when you bring one unit charge from infinity to given reference point whatever work is required to be done that is referred as potential let me mention that definition after that i'll give you formula for that now to calculate potential you should know that potential v that is rate of change of work done with respect to charge right so dw by dq rate of work with respect to charge that is referred as potential and you see unit of work that is there in terms of joule per charge means coulomb so this unit joule per coulomb that is potentials unit or you can say that that unit is there in terms of voltage so in this video what we have studied is what is the basic difference in between potential and emf right and that basic difference explains you that potential difference is been maintained by emf right so emf is required to maintain potential difference and for the case of battery if you nullify internal resistance of battery then you can say that emf of that battery is equals to potential difference of that battery's two terminal right and potential is equals to rate of change of work done with respect to charge so these are the basic things which i have explained you in this video i hope you have understood this still if you have any further queries you just place that in comment box i'll be happy to help you